In this tutorial, we will continue with the exercise on Sketcher Workbench. Part design is being opened here, and the exercise file is being opened on the left side. And let's start sketching the base sketch for our part right here. So we will. This is how we'll sketch our profile. Click on the sketch and select the ZX plane, and start sketching it using the profile tool. Double click on the profile tool and start sketching it in this fashion. Make sure your horizontal and verticals are coming in the proper ways. Complete the profile and then select the constraint key the constraint tool, double click on the constraint tool and start constraining your sketch. 20 mm. The whole length is 120 mm. Press the escape key sometimes and drag the sketch in a way that your sketch makes sense. Now Use the double click on the constraint tool once again. Click once, click twice, right click, and go for allow symmetry and select the vertical line. Similarly, do the same thing for this. Right click, allow symmetry, and select this. And now you can specify 90 degree for this. And then click once, click the second time, right click, allow symmetry, and select this line. Now, as I said before, press the escape key, zoom it a little bit in, and select this point, and drag it a little outwards. Now, again, come back to the same position. And now you have some more constraining to be done. You could constrain this as 5mm. And as you have applied the symmetry, you can see that the other side is getting constrained automatically. And you have to constrain this as 30 mm. And you have to do this process unless and until you get a complete green signal. And you have to constrain this as 45. And as you can see, our sketch is fully constrained. You know, if you have constrained this 30 mm and if you didn't constrain this here, you have to make sure that you have given a symmetry here. So that's about the sketching and exit the sketch. And now you can see that the thickness of the pad is 45 mm. So you could pad this up to 45 here, click on the preview, or else click on the mirror extent, divide this by 45. This could also do the work. So I generally go for a mirror extent most of the times. So it helps me to uh, create more profiles or do symmetry, etc. because I still get a plane on the middle. So let's talk about that in the upcoming tutorials. Thank you so much for watching.